it's queasy. You know like it's Good Friday today and it's Easter Sunday just a few days away. All this reminds me of Jesus. Jesus was this cool guy that lived on this planet like ages ago. So I was thinking how would it be like if Jesus lived in our time like right now? What would it be like? Like there are so many things about Jesus' birth that just don't add up but somehow they make sense to Christians. If Jesus was actually born in our time Mary, Jesus' mother, would actually be on some TV show. Why would Jesus' mom be on a TV show, you may ask? Well, she would be on a TV show for being pregnant without Joseph actually shagging her. Like, Mary got pregnant without even Joseph fingering her. Like, my nigga Joseph didn't even kiss her, but somehow she got pregnant. And when they asked Mary how she got pregnant, she went, it's the Holy Spirit. Like how? Imagine your girl getting pregnant and telling you that shit. You probably would be like, since when does the Holy Spirit have a dick or sperm? So if this happened in our time, Mary would be on some TV show and Joseph doing some lie detector stuff to find out really how did Mary get pregnant. We would all think that Mary is a slag because who gets pregnant without a dick in our time? Like Joseph must have really loved Mary. Like imagine you're waiting on someone you love. Then you get married and then you haven't even slept with them and then they show up pregnant. Then if that's not enough, they start telling you how the Holy Spirit got them pregnant. Like I would sidekick a slug if she came to me telling me stuff like that. But Joseph, he, he just believed it. Like I bet people in those times were really dumb as fuck. Plus if Jesus was born in our time and he went out, started walking on water, no one would actually care. I mean we would probably care for like a day and then some scientists will come up telling us the way how Jesus could have walked on water. So basically Jesus would be seen as a magician if he lived in our times. Also, you know like Jesus said, no, sex before marriage back then but if he lived in our time full of fit girls he would just end up shagging all of them himself like jesus only said no sex before marriage because people back then were ugly as fuck like girls had no makeup they didn't even have us so basically there was nothing to look forward to in sex so you might as well just wait till marriage this is probably why jesus died a virgin because the girls must have been really ugly for him to fuck basically jesus had standards Plus the way they had sex back then was probably dead as fuck because they even have blowjobs or rim job. It was just plain ancient sex. That's it. Like you just show up with someone, you put a dick in them and that's it. Imagine, that's all they did. Also, it was easy for Jesus to say the things that he said back then because back then there were less temptations, man. Like back then they didn't have smartphones, so no porn. So it was hard to find someone that was actually a pedo back then. And they were not annoying as fuck people back then. It's probably why Jesus said do not commit murder. But now in our times people are just annoying. You want to kill your ex, your friends, your siblings. Like everyone's just annoying as shit. Also if Jesus lived in our times he wouldn't be going around telling people that thou shall not commit adultery because people would just laugh at him because in our time committing adultery is a hobby it's actually cool in our time to commit adultery like when my boys cheat on their girls we praise them like people enjoy cheating in our time like i love that feeling you get when you cheat on someone and the sex was great and you feel like you want to tell the person that you cheated on that you cheated on them and the sex was great basically the cheating sex was so good that you want to tell everyone including the person you cheated on. There's no way you can stay away from adultery, man. In our time, there's no way, man. Adultery is in everything. Our music, films we watch, porn, like cheating is everywhere. Like you just have to cheat. If you don't cheat, you're gonna get cheated on. It's just something like you get a girl and you think she's the best girl in the world. And then you see her friends and you're thinking, wow, rah. And then you just wanna shag her friends, her mom, her nanny, everyone in her family, man. So it's hard to stay away from adultery. So if Jesus actually lived in our times, which are hard times, he wouldn't be saying most of the things he said. Instead of saying that do not commit adultery, he probably encourage us to commit adultery because life is short um, and YOLO. 